Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Breaking news! And the big breaking news is in the last 50 minutes, Tottenham have announced their third summer signing of the transfer window. He is finally here. This guy has been spoken about for weeks, months, but the deal is here. Wednesday, the 28th of June, 2023, and James Madison has signed for Tottenham. Oh my God, I've never, probably, this has been the most gassed I've been over a transfer since Gareth Bale rejoined back in 2020. But yeah, I am so happy. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologise about that. But yeah, honestly, I'm so buzzing. And yeah, this is what Tottenham have put on the club's website. Um, and, and Spurs put this on at nine o'clock this evening. And yeah, we are Spurs put this. We are delighted to announce the signing of James Madison from Leicester City. The England international has agreed a deal with the club, which will run until 2028. James... James, 26, began his career with Coventry City where he progressed through the youth ranks to make, to make his professional debut in August 2014 before joining Norwich City in January 2016, remaining with the Sky Blues on loan for the rest of the 2015-2016 campaign. He finished with 42 appearances in total for his hometown club, scoring five goals. An exciting creative midfielder, he made his debut for the Canaries in August 2016 in an EFL Cup tie against his former side before joining Scottish Premiership side Aberdeen on loan for the first half of the season, making 17 appearances and, and netting twice. Madison became a key part of Norwich's side following the following season, making 49 appearances in all competitions and ending the campaign as the club's top goal scorer with 15 goals, claiming City's Player of the Season award. Earning, earning, earning recognition for his outstanding performances, James claimed numerous personal accolades throughout the 2017-2018 season, including the Championship Young Player of the Month award, of Jan for January 2018 and the Championship Goal of the Month award for September 2017 and January 2018. In addition to being nominated for the EFL Young Player of the Season, he was also named in, in both Championship and PFA Team of the Year. In July 2018, James signed for Leicester City, making his Premier League debut the following month in a season opener against Manchester United at Old Trafford, enjoying an excellent first season in which he made 38 appearances, he collected City's Young Player of the Season award as he ended the campaign with 14 goal involvements. The Coventry-born playmaker made 203 appearances over a five-year spell with Leicester, scoring 55 goals, and in the 2020-2021 season, claimed the Premier League Goal of the Month Awards for September 2020 with a stunning curling finish at Manchester City while also helping the Foxes to lift the FA Cup in May 2021. The 2021-2022 season began with the Community Shield victory over Manchester City and was, and was ultimately another impressive campaign for the midfielder, claiming, claiming the club's Player of the Season award after netting 18 goals and registering 12 assists. His most... His mo his most prolific campaign to date, he then followed that up with with a further 19 goal contributions in just 30 outings for the Foxes last term. After representing England at under-21 level, James received his first call-up for the senior squad in October 2018, making his, making his debut in the UEFA Euro 2020 qualifier against Montenegro in November 2019. He was then named in Gareth Southgate's 2022 World Cup squad and after his impressive club form earned his first start in the Free Lions 
for the Three Lions in March 2023 in the Euro 2024 qualifying match with Ukraine at Wembley Stadium. So yeah, um, that is the statement from Tottenham and to be honest, I'm buzzing. You know, I have had a few messages of friends about a tweet that James Madison put once about, you know, hoping Luis Suarez, like, destroys Tottenham because apparently, like, ages ago, like, 2013, you know, when he was at, like, when he was at, like, Coventry, um, he didn't really like Tottenham at the time, but I, I, I wonder if he still likes us now or not. But to be honest, for all, to all those people who have been saying that, honestly, I really don't care. I don't care, honestly. The, honestly, we tried to get him last summer. It failed. I think we tried to get him in in January. It failed. But now it's finally happened. The twenty eighth of June, twenty twenty three. James Madison has signed for Tottenham, and honestly, I'm just so buzzing. You know, we needed a creative midfielder like him. And like Spurs said, then you know, you know, I know he's got you know loads of Gold of the Month awards. PF, he's you know he's gone to the Championship. Team of the year, PFA Team of the year, you know he he's a fan he's a fantastic midfielder, and you know it was a bit unfortunate that he was part of the Leicester team that got relegated to the championship. But James Madison, if James Madison would have stayed at Leicester, he would have absolutely bossed the championship. He probably would have been maybe top goal scorer, maybe um, he probably would have. He probably would have got a lot of awards in the championship. And James Madison is nowhere near championship standard. And he is arguably, in my opinion, he deserves to be in a big six club. And we are a big six team. I don't care what you guys say. We are a big six team. The big six is us, Arsenal, City, United, Liverpool and Chelsea. That is the big six. I don't give a crap about, you know, you couldn't clean Newcastle. I don't care. Um... But yeah, you know, I'm just buzzing that this deal is done. He's a, such a fantastic player. Honestly, for, if there is any people that actually think this guy is bad, honestly, get a life, honestly. This guy is world class. Um, You know, you know what he's, what he's done at Aberdeen, Norwich, Cov, Leicester. He's done bits for the team. He's done bits... For all the teams he's played for. And I remember this one goal when James Madison was at Aberdeen. He scored a fantastic free kick. He's I'll tell you now, he needs to be on free kicks because he's actually quite a decent free kick taker. He's actually quite a decent free kick taker. He's actually quite a decent free kick taker, you know. Like on the ball, he can he can play the through ball to the striker. Mate, I I, I wonder I wonder if I'd get a good um relationship with Harry Kane maybe when he gets the ball when can he find a pass maybe to Kane maybe out wide so I don't know whether it's Richarlison, Kulisevsky, Son who knows maybe maybe even Brian Gilfie plays if it's a cup game or maybe I don't know maybe Destiny Adoji if he, if he can play on the wing I don't know but honestly I'm absolutely over the moon with this transfer I am absolutely buzzing and, you know, God knows who is going to be next now. Is it going to be Edmund Tapsoba? Who Who's next? I want to know who is next. That's what I want to know. But honestly, you know, if I had to rate this transfer out of 10, this is a 10 out of 10 transfer for, top, for us. You know, James Madison is a class player. He's brilliant. He's world class. And um, he would def oh, he's definitely going to get in the first team at our midfield next season. Come on. Madison, Ben Tancourt when he comes back. I don't know, Basuma maybe. Oh, if we get like, another midfielder, but I doubt that. I think now we need to get, we need to focus on defenders. I think the defence is the key part now of the transfer window. We've got our goalie. We've got our we've got our midfielder. Maybe we could get another midfielder. Who knows? But I think the main priority now is to get some defenders in. Get in Tapsober, get in Mickey Van Der Veen, get in all these players. Um, and yeah, anyway, I'm just over the moon. And yeah, um, to any Tottenham fans, to any other Tottenham fans watching this video, put down in the comments what is your thoughts on the signing of James Madison, and also. 
yeah, um, any Coventry, Aberdeen, Leicester fans, Norwich fans, put in the comments, how good is he? Well, I already know he's f***ing <laughs> there, but anyway, I'm going to go now in a bit.